I am Gloria Gough. I am the Executive Director of the Combined Disabilities Association. Uh, my relationship with the disability movement started before I knew it, really, um, from 1981 when I participated in the International Year for Disabled Persons uh, Mediathon. Uh, but I am also a person with a disability, as I am blind. I became blind at age seven, so I'm very familiar with blindness. But my introduction and my involvement with other types of disability came about when I really became a member of the board of the Combined Disabilities Association in 1991. I was also the president of Disabled Peoples International North American Caribbean Region and Disabled Peoples Organization of the Caribbean. These positions gave me insight and involvement with the activities of disability um, issues in other Caribbean countries and other and some international uh, countries. I am very happy to hear about this book that has been written by Dr. Anisia Gale and um, the title is also very interesting inequality that um, word is something that has been used a lot by persons with disabilities and persons who have worked in the sector most of the conventions and uh, um, standards and so on that have been written speak to equalization of opportunities for persons with disability which indicates there is some inequality and we know there are inequalities. So in this book, I'm expecting to find issues dealing with uh, health, education, um, political and social participation in the country, the economic um, situation related to persons with disabilities, and their involvement generally, um, among other things. and. Uh, to say how much when we speak of inequality um, for persons with disabilities and aspire for the equalization that we speak about so much that it really exists because we have spoken about it a lot based on uh, empirical studies overseas and may, may anecdotal um, um, discussions here um, because we do not have enough um, scientific evidence for some of what we speak about. We know it exists, but I'm looking for this book to really bring out, substantiate what we've been talking about for years. And with the writer of the book being so knowledgeable on disability issues, having done research during her various studies, I am sure we're, we, we will find that the book can be used as an um, academic reference material and we can also use it when we are talking about issues related to inequalities among persons with disabilities as it relates to the rest of the society. You know, when we are looking for comparatives and also um, similarities. So I am looking forward to reading this book and really having it as a reference material for supporting some of the issues that we've been talking about for so many years. Jamaica and the Caribbean should benefit from material such as this because um, we speak the same language in terms of inequality among persons with disabilities. Based on my experience, as I mentioned earlier, as regional uh, chairperson or president for a number of organizations and working across the Caribbean. I am hoping that uh, the book will be used not only as an academic um, source, as I mentioned earlier, but also that governments and even corporate organizations and non-governmental organizations, that societies across the Caribbean can use it to help to inform policies. Because if we're talking about inequalities, it means that we're talking about how to level the playing field, right? So if we have a document that can give scientific information about where the inequalities exist, 
this information or can be used, this information can be used to assist in um, policy development and even legislation because in any legis piece of legislation it is going to be related to what exists and how can we change what exists or improve on what, is, what exists. For, for the Caribbean region and Jamaica specifically, we're talking about the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, um, which most countries have already signed and, and have ratified. And now in Jamaica and some of the Caribbean islands, we also have disability policies and disability um, bills or acts. Now I'm hoping that the book, the information in the book, can help to guide where we already have an act, can help to guide the implementation of uh, policies or charters or standards that will help to, um, what you call it, make the bills or the acts more effective and more enforceable. Um, I'm also hoping that for the Caribbean that persons with disabilities will become au fait with the book, will see it fit to read the book and understand what's in there because it can also help us in our advocacy. It will also help us in our advocacy. <laughs>